Look at that manoeuvre by Jack Mitchell. Sorry to cut across there, but that was a great move. Hello and welcome to this week's Take A Few. I'm Alex Court and today I'm at the Stratstone Mayfair Aston Martin dealership and I'm joined by Jack Mitchell. So Jack, I understood you won a race recently. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, the last race I won was at Silverstone which was quite a hard race for me because we've had a lot of problems towards the end of the year with the car. But, mm. um, we were under a lot of pressure to perform but I managed to come away with a win. Oh, great, and was that the first time you raced at Silverstone or was that basically? No, I've raced there previously as well, the last two years. The first time I raced there was in uh, Fiestas. And then like last four year, Fiestas? Yeah. Wow. And then um, last year in the Ginetta Junior, mm. which was my first year in it, and then this year as well. Yeah. My second year. That was the Ginetta Junior you just won? Yeah. Oh wow, so that's, that's quite a big a big deal in the, in, in the racing you're doing? It's a big deal for Ginetta Junior drivers really. Yeah, but yeah. It's the first step of the ladder really, going up to where so that's, like, be. that's like the gateway to the, the senior yeah. sort of position. Or where, where do you want to be? Where is, where is your? Uh, my goal is to get either touring cars or being GT racing. Really, that's where I want to be at the end of my career. And you agree? And well, I'm so what I'm so to, get, to go back there. Where, where what got you started then racing? When did you start? Uh, I started back in 2008, and my dad got me into it really because he okay. used to race when he was a lot younger oh, okay. so yeah he got me started I started in karting yeah I started testing in 2007 and then time the, t- the time I turned eight I uh, started racing mm. and I've carried on till 2012 where I stopped and that's when I got into the Fiesta Juniors is it quite I mean is it, is it quite a difficult thing to get into I mean there is a lot of cars there a lot of competition yeah there's a lot of competition because everyone starts off in karting really and that's where yeah. all the best drivers come from so um, it's all the Especially where around the Blackmore Park on the mm. local tracks, that's where all the, the best drivers are like born, really, and they they're all born around the same area. That's yeah, strange, isn't it? Yeah, that's where all the best the best drivers all come from the local tracks where I live, so Blackmore. Oh. So, especially when you go into the national level, mm. it's all the same drivers who you started with. Uh, so you always like grow up together, kind of yeah. thing. That's quite nice, then. That's quite nice. So it's quite a sort of a uh, you know a nice bond between you all. A lot a friendly of competition, anyway. Between some people that are old, the others. Um, yeah. Don't really get on too well with, but uh, oh, really? the other day I'm racing for myself. Yeah, you haven't been getting into any fights with no. so that's, that's, that's a relief. That's a relief. But you have to be in quite good shape for it, though, don't you? I mean, it's not something that you can just you can't just jump behind the wheel. You know, like me, I'd probably just get destroyed. I'd be broken. I'd be broken. I mean, you have to be in quite good shape, don't you? Yeah, well, the early years when I was in karting wasn't really much of a worry, but mm. getting into cars, you know, longer races and. Obviously, in a lot harder conditions because inside the car it can be quite hot. Mm. But um, especially now, if I'm going to go testing in single seaters, I have to build up like a lot of my neck muscle and muscle in my arms as well because mm. it's going to be really hard holding on to the car, especially with so point. much more G-force. Yeah, wow. so I've got to get prepared for that. Oh my God, I, I, I had no idea. I had no idea it was such a sort of physically intense sport. You think I'm just driving? It's not just driving, is it? No, it's not. Just more than driving. The uh, fitness is a big part of it as well. Like, yeah. I don't many people actually notice that until they actually no. get more into it. Well, I suppose you've got to be, you are fighting the car almost, aren't yeah. you? Around the track sort of thing. I mean, and, um, yeah, so I mean, what, what, uh, what's the sort of like maximum length of a race? I mean, how, how long does a race normally last? I mean, it's not 24 hours or anything, is it? Not yet, anyway. No, not yet, no. But um, for me at the moment, it's quite a short race, it's only about mm. 20 minutes, but uh, the older you get and the higher classes you are, yeah. the races are a lot longer. So it'd be good to prepare myself now for them races instead of the endurance. Yeah, a week before the race, actually start trying to train. <laughs> it's not a good idea, is it really? I mean, would you do something like that eventually, like the Le Mans 24 hours or something? I mean, that would yeah, be. Yeah, it'd be really nice to get there. Hopefully, um, I can get there when I'm older. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you get into the touring cars and all that kind of stuff, are, you, yeah. what, are there any sort of uh, you know races you look up to and you admire? I think, especially, like, I want to get to the top of team tops, really, which is like GTs, mm. um, touring cars, and I think yeah, the GTs kind of go along the same package as yeah. like Le Mans and the 24 hours, so it'd be nice to get there at the end of the oh, Definitely, definitely. I mean, what, uh, what you, have you got any sort of racing heroes as well? Like, you know, uh, I'd probably say Elton Senna really. Oh yeah, he's the course. one that everyone looks up to. He's such a good driver. And yeah, the way he approached it all. Really. I mean, I was about, what I'm saying physically, I mean mentally as well. I guess yeah. you have to be focused. But how do you sort of prepare mentally for a race? Um, I just really got to stay focused. Really, I can't really 
muck around. Can't like, start daydreaming. You know, especially when I was a lot younger, when I started at eight, I used to like golf with my mates and um, play a bit of football, then jump in the park. Ooh. But now I've got to take it a lot more serious. Yeah. And um, focus before I go out and look at data really, so I'm prepared for the race. Yeah, because you also you, you were saying before you were studying it now as well, aren't you? You're actually in a racing college. Yeah. Is that right? So what I mean, what 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 is a racing college? I didn't know that it existed. Yeah, well, at the moment all I'm doing is sport, business and okay. um, NVQ, which is more about like, the aspects of racing, so it's, most of it's more really like PR and um, talk about press release and stuff like that, Ooh. so it's kind of to help you promote yeah. yourself and I do a bit of fitness as well, which is, yeah, which Makes is sense. why I chose to go there. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what would be your sort of ideal car? Do you have any dream cars? Not too sure yet, I think it was supercars really, which are oh, out, off, off, off. Yeah, out of the price range, which are ones I'd like to drive. You need yourself a good benefactor to just sort of say, here you go, here you go, Jeff. Yeah. Have, have this one, have this one. Do you do any like uh, pretending to drive and going vroom, vroom, vroom? Hi, I'm Gavin Knox and I'm with Jack Mitchell in the V Advantage N430 Coupe. So Jack, uh, how does this uh, vehicle measure up to the vehicles you've been driving? Well, obviously it's got a lot more room, and also this is like nearly three times more power than what my car has. That's yeah, the big... This has got uh, over 400 horsepower in it? Yeah, a lot more than what I've got. Right. And also the other difference is um, the gears. Obviously my car has um, a sequential box, which is quite simple. It's just backwards for up the gears and down, uh, forward, sorry, for when you want to go down. Whereas this has a paddle shift. So if you want to go up the gears, you just go up on the right hand side and obviously the same on the left, but down. On the steering wheel? Yeah. Oh. And uh, what horsepower are you used to anyway? Only around 100 at the moment, so quite a big difference there. But obviously next year when I'm moving up into the classes, there'll be a lot more power going maybe 200 to 300 there. So a big difference. How many years until you think you'll be in a car like this? Hope, hopefully five years, five, oh, well. ten years would be really nice, yeah. Is there many other differences? Or? Um, obviously, my car is quite simple inside. It's all, yeah. Everything's been taken out. It has a roll cage where this hasn't. And um, obviously, all the interior is a lot nicer than what I've got. Oh, yeah. It's quite a nice car, anyway. Uh, do you play many uh, video games or anything? Yeah, I do play a couple of little games. And also, any racing games? Or? Yeah, I play um, Grid quite a lot, Grid Motorsport too. That's one of my favourite ones at the moment. And do you think that helps you with uh, your driving? It does in a way, yeah. It um, helps you learn the tracks. Obviously on the grid game it doesn't have many of the tracks that I race on, yeah. so I tend to use more of a simulator, which helps me learn the tracks. But grid's a really good game and it does help you out a lot with the tracks that are actually on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, so um, with your uh, racing games, uh, you were testing uh, some of them, were you? Or? Yeah, I helped out Codemaster a little bit. Obviously they invited me to a, um, a charity event, which I raced for them. And afterwards, they um, sent me the game uh -huh. that has just come out now. What game was it? Uh, Grid Motorsport 2. Oh. So it's been out a couple of months, quite a few months now, and I tried, helped, tried that, and it's a really good game. Uh, why was it that they um, asked you to test it out? Is it just to see if it was like realistic enough? Yeah, to just check, check it all out, really, and, and see what it's like. And of approval? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you've got a website as well, uh, jackmitchellracing.co.uk, is it? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, can you tell me about that website? Or? Yeah, basically, it's just got pictures, press releases, and all the information about me over the last couple of months. Like in terms of like time, basically 16 now, I mean, in 10 years, would you say you could see yourself as, you know, winning the GT, for example? Or Le Mans? Yeah, I'd like to see that, yeah, but I've got quite a while now, so I've got a lot of time to get there. Yeah, but you've got 10 years. Yeah. That's a long time. And I've got, I think we've got the right people behind me as well to help me get there. So. Yeah. Yeah, you've got Airwaves with your team, aren't they? Yeah, well, it's uh, Motorbase who are helping me out okay. at the moment, and um, Airways are who sponsor them. All right. So, um, Motorbase and Airways have helped me this year, but... Um, yeah. Exactly, yeah, Airways are leaving this year. Oh, leaving really? Motorbase, so... All oh, right. So luckily, I've still got Motorbase behind me to mm. help and support me through next coming years. Did you get free airways while you were with them? I do get a couple of packages, yeah. <laughs> I knew it! So bloody lucky, man. Oh, thank you very much, Jack.